Welcome to another Your Questions Answered. The common question that crops up is how do I hang my hearts? And I'll go through what I do actually to finish off my work, which will give you some ideas about what you might like to do for yours. So you go to all the trouble to making a beautiful front of your work, whether that's a, um, a square, a heart or whatever shape it is. And then you come back to finishing it. How does the back look? So in, in my case, I do one coat of flat black paint, which will seal it. And then I do one coat of satin black paint to give it a lovely finish. The other thing you might need, or will definitely need, unless you have a, a, an eye that's really good at doing things that are straight, is a ruler that's at least the width of your work. So you can make sure that your hanger is straight. A stabby tool to make a hole for the screw and of course this is basic and very cheap a sharpie in this case I use a gold sharpie because not only will I mark the spot for the screw I'm going to sign my work with the sharpie some people sign a tile or put their initials on a tile using a dremel and they use that as the signature so as you embark on your career career or hobby as an artist you need to think about how do you sign your work how do you make it yours and of course once you've got everything lined up you will need a screwdriver i got this awesome little set of, of uh, screw driving stuff from our aldi which does really cheap cheap things and it's absolutely awesome because it's got all these different heads here so i think everyone who's putting things on mosaics um, and it also has a ratchet so I can screw that in quite well and get that um, done really easily with whatever size I need on the end which is just held in by a magnet how brilliant is that and of course a hanger so I use I get these hangers from an art supply store um, because they have lots and lots of great stuff for hanging pictures and I really like them because they're heavy duty. Not that we need incredibly heavy duty because the, this heart, when finished, weighs under a kilo, so, and you know, under two pounds. So it's not that heavy, but I like it to be nice and strong because you never know what people are going to do with their works or your bit of art. So in there comes a, a hanger with two screw, screw spots there and two screws you need to make sure that the screw isn't going to be deeper than your work these are one centimeter screws so they work on my nine mil uh, marine ply board and in this case i'm using 12 mil so i don't need to worry about anything i also add a couple of washers into the little holes to get that extra firm screw in so there's no way that this is going to fall out of the back and for really nice touches, let's look at how we can add some extra, extra groovy touches to it. You can, because it's black paint, always worry that um, it might lean against someone's lovely white wall and leave black marks. So you can put protectors or bumpers on them. And these come in all shapes and sizes. So these ones are skid protectors that are actually made for chairs. So if you had something really large, you could use these great big whoppers. And you can even get them like in pieces like this big. So you can cut whatever shape you want. There's round ones as well, depending on what you're doing. There's clear plastic ones, little ones. Um, I'm going to use the clear plastic ones because it's a black background and it will look really lovely. So that gives an extra special finish. The other thing, a great tip that I got from Peter Twining on his... Uh, discussion about how to finish off your works was put a stencil on the back to make it look lovely so he used various stencils he even used a bit of uh, lace to give a lovely border around so really it's up to you what you would do i often use the dragonfly of course the dragonfly stencil which i paint in gold but you could use whatever you like flowers um, you might be doing this as a gift for someone. You might want to put the hearts on the back as well um, and make, write a little message even in your um, beautiful gold Sharpie. 
And the final, final, final touch is care instructions. Because often people don't really know, and it's like, how do you let people know what to do with your piece of art once it starts to get dusty? It looks lovely new. So on here, I've got these labels printed to help people uh, know what to do. So here, I've, I've let them know that it's fragile because it's made out of glass. If you drop it, it's going to break because it's wood. It's got um, various things that could just fall off, and if you dropped it on concrete, it would definitely smash. The other thing is that we know we're working with glass and there are sometimes little sharp bits. So you don't want someone's little toddler coming up and patting your work because they've got such soft, delicate skin, you wouldn't want them to cut themselves. So I say contains sharp edges and please handle with caution. So that's a good thing for people to know how to clean them. Just clean with a very slightly damp cloth and give it a bit of a wipe. The other thing I'm going to add for my next set of labels is whether it's an indoor or an outdoor and I can cross out the one that doesn't apply. Uh, so for use indoors or protected area or is waterproof and can be used outdoors, which really gives people a good indication. You don't want to make a mosaic for someone that's actually an indoor item, forget to tell them it's not waterproof, they take it outside it gets watered upon and then falls apart and come back and complain to you because you will have to give the money back. So that's some really terrific um, ideas on what you can do to finish off your heart. So let's look at how this actually happens. So what I do is get this ru uh, ruler and I go about three to eight centimetres down from the corner of the heart and then I use the ruler to go to the very bottom corner of the heart to make sure I have a straight line so my hanger will be straight. I get my Sharpie and put a little dot at about the three eight centimetre mark. So that's one dot there. This is a permanent marker so it'll stay there but remember it's going to have a screw over it so no one's going to see it. I'm also going to sign this with this permanent gold marker. Okay, so we've got our, oops, we've got our, uh, our lovely hanger, we've got our stabby tool, but we also have another hole to mark. So, we can mark the hole now or after we screw that in. So I get my stabby tool. And I stick it in the middle of that that dot there, and make a and make a hole, ready for the point of that. So I don't need a drill or anything electrical equipment. I'm, I've got the muscles to do it with, so it makes it really easy. I pop the washer in up inside the in between bits there. Force that down, as you can see. You can see the washers in there. I put my screw into my cute little screwdriver, hold it there, get it in place, poke that hole, that screw into the hole, hold it and then just start pressing down and screwing. Oops. go all the way just yet because I will um, want to put my other one in before it's all too tight. So then we've got our next marker. We want to make sure that's nice and straight. Perfect. Get our stabby tool. Make a hole. Just enough to put the screw in. Get the uh, washer, pop it in. And screw it down as well. Now we can tighten it up. Make 
make sure everything's nice and straight. And then remember to re tighten that one there. So the beauty of this is it's a very firm finish. When people put a hanger on the wall, you know it's not going to show from the top and when you're looking at the front. So there's plenty of room to hide a hanger there. So that's fantastic. So now I'm going to pop on the on the bumpers. I'll put one, because these are all self-adhesive bumpers. So I'll put one on the pointy end here. one at each corner for the heart so there's no way now that heart is going to uh, lean against someone's wall and damage it and of course if they fall off they're really easy to replace and of course the final thing is to sign your work and there's a really simple finish looks fantastic looks professional and it looks like you put lots of love in it it doesn't cost that much and of course the last thing I'm going to do is pop on a label that gives all the care instructions so you can just put that wherever you like so it's got your logo on there and very very professional looking how's that now imagine if I had a golden um, a dragonfly on there as well look pretty terrific so this is the lovely gift I'm going to be giving to my niece and it looks fantastic front and back I'm not too embarrassed to give that as a gift I hope you enjoyed this uh, answer to a question how do I hang my things uh, there you have it